Hi, I'm Melissa. You're watching Florida on a Dime. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know you're listening. <laughs> Today is Monday, and you know what? Back to the grindstone. I tell you what, um, today, today or tomorrow? Tomorrow's the last day of the month, and I'm nowhere near where I was last month. Um, I grossed about 2,800 last month, and this month I've barely broken the 2,000. I own it because you get out what you put in, and I was between being the kidney infection and pageant stuff, and and life I did not put in as much as I have been and it showed in my profits but back to the grindstone March is gonna be my month so I'm headed to the Goodwill bins right now um, I'm hoping it's a little bit later than it usually is so I know I'm not gonna get a cart the first um, run through of all the buckets should be out by now so um, I don't think I'm gonna stay too long and that is what the plan is for right now. Thank you so much to the person that uh, threw back the Lilla Row brand new tag Monroe. Heard it. Taking a break. Um, I'm doing okay. I don't have a cart, so it's kind of a pain using like this basket. But I have like a pile of stuff. This is um, brand new tag Gap. There's some decent stuff here. I'll stick around a little bit longer. Okay, so. Um, I was in there for about an hour and 15 minutes, which is short for me, but um, I really just went through all the buckets that were out already. People leave incredible stuff. I mean, um, you know, I put in a couple clips before this and just showed you, you know, they're throwing away, throwing back Lularo, um, new attack Lularo. So, me and them. Okay. Anyway, I think I got about um, 12 pounds, which is a little bit more than I've been getting lately, which is good. Um, some kind of bread and butter stuff, but some more decent stuff as well. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. So now I went and got my large Coke. And now I'm headed to Plato's Closet because I have two very big boxes and another bag of clothes that I pulled that did not sell. Um, so I thought I'm just going to let them have at it, you know, get my couple dollars of the few things they'll accept, and then the rest of it will just go to donation. So that's my next step for the day. Of course, I'll do a haul for you later. I'll show you guys what has been selling. Um, remember, I'm on Instagram now. Um, try to follow me. My username is Florida on a Dime. And I will talk to you guys later. I'm like literally sitting here laughing my ass off because... I'm just in disbelief. I brought in probably a little over a hundred items to Play-Dohs. Nice stuff. Levi's jeans, Lucky Brand jeans, American Eagle jeans, all of them in like immaculate condition, not even wear on the hems of the, the legs. I, they took one thing, one, one pair of jeans. That's it, that's all they took. One pair of jeans for $4. I, I, I'm befuddled. There's my word for right now, befuddled. I am befuddled. How do they make money if they don't buy anything ever from anyone? I think they have their own insiders who come in and sell and that's how they get their merchandise. And there's the ones, those are the people that they buy from. Those are the people they give their money to because there was some major, part of my language, but crap in there. There were items that were like ripped and how does that make it buy, but like a brand new pair of Levi's jeans, they don't want. I don't get it. So now I'm sitting here with like 30 or 40 pairs of really nice jeans that just couldn't sell on eBay. Just couldn't get rid of them no matter how hard I tried. But they're really nice jeans. And what do I do with them now? I don't want to go donate them. I, I mean, I feel like something can be done with them what do I do any suggestions so I try to sell them as like a wholesale lot but that would get too expensive for shipping try to sell them locally on Craigslist I, I, I don't know what to do at this point okay so now I am headed to 
Marshalls because I have to return a few items that didn't sell that I had bought for retail arbitrage. And that's the good part about retail arbitrage is that if you keep the receipt and you keep the tags on the items, that if they don't sell for some reason, you can just return them. Get your money back and you know, you, you spent money on insertion fees and that's about it. It was lesson learned and you're done with it. So I'm gonna go back turn a couple things in I'm just gonna see if any of the yellow tags have gone cheaper and see if there's anything else worth getting so that's my next step okay so I went to Marshall's I returned everything um, got some nice cash back in my pocket and um, they didn't have a single yellow tag left nothing not a zip zilch so uh, I went and got the kiddos and tonight is my nephew's 17th birthday and we're going to Chick-fil-A. He got to pick where he wanted to go for his birthday dinner and he chose Chick-fil-A. So, this one back here that keeps popping his head up needs a <clears throat> suit for, is it more than one, like you have one bar mitzvah and then don't you have another one coming up soon too? Next a bot fit? Bot, oh, oh, you, okay, never mind. All right. Anyway, for at least one this weekend, bot mitzvah. Bar mitzvah, bar. bot. Bar, bar for bar a boy. A girl. Bars for a boy. Okay, so he's got the bar mitzvah. He wants a blazer really bad. So we are headed to my favorite Lantana Thrift to see if we can find one. And of course, well, while we're there, what do you think I'm gonna do? Uh, maybe some sourcing? And this one over here. Hey there. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Can you not? I want to die. <laughs> she needs some more appearance dresses for the um, for pageant appearances and stuff. So she, she needs needs, needs a couple more little dresses to wear. So we're gonna look for those too while we're there. This is how we do the thing. Did we find you a jacket? Blazers for dancers. Hello. It is. Pretty late. We just got home not that long ago. We ate at Chick fil A, we went to Cold Stone for ice cream, and now we're home. So I have a haul for you. Um, first, I'll show you what I got at the bins this morning, and then I'll show you what I got at the Lantana Thrift. Did pretty well there. I was very surprised. I hadn't been there in probably like two weeks. I didn't get a lot because I'm choosing to be picky right now because I still have two buckets of bread and butter to get um, listed. So I was picky, so I didn't get much, but what I got was mighty. We'll put it that way. So here we go, here's the start. This is, um, I don't know how to say it, GIM. It's G-A-I-A-M, it's a yoga wear, so it's like a real soft material. It's got like a tie, or a wrap, ruffle front kind of thing. Um, yoga top. Again, this was from the outlet. This is just, it needs a little bit of help, but um, it's a really nice uh, Victoria's Secret bra. Good size. What size is it? 38D. It just needs some picking at a couple places, and I don't know if that's going to come off. It's like a water stain, but even if it doesn't come off, I can just sell it cheap. It didn't weigh much. This is just a... There's actually two of these, and I don't know if they're exactly the same. No, they're not the same. But there's two. There's just the same price, uh, price of 26. So they're just the same size, the 26, 28, Lane Bryant, real soft cotton tees. Some kind of wraps around the bottom of the front. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. And then this one is like a, kind of the same poncho-y idea. So, and they're both the same size, both Lane Bryant, just soft cotton shirts. So I might put them together as one lot. This is, I looked up the brand, I've never heard of it before, but it seems to do okay. It's a silk top from Piazza. Sempion, let me put it that way. It's just this sheer blouse. This is Bowden. It's just a classic A-line pencil skirt. Bowden. Uh, this is Hugo Boss. It's a slim fit, 5'11", 
finest Italian yarn, XXL. It actually really is very, very soft. Comps looked really nice on it too, and the size is great. Um, another one that I had to look up, it's also silk, and it is called Popiet St. Barth. You got that too, I don't know if you can read it. Popiet. This is pretty silk top with a little ribbon that goes through it. Mm, this is Dress Barn, it's just a pink shrug, um, plus size perfect for spring coming up. It's got the nice crochet in the back. And it's draping in the front. Um, I got this because it's new a tag. It's uh, Victoria's Secret. It comes with a little extra. And that's the front and this is the back, which I think is strange, but that's the way it's designed with all the sparkles in the back. This was also new a tag. Um, I found out, I guess it's from Aeropostale. I've never heard of it before. It's like a brand of Prince Fox, Prince and Fox, but it was new a tag. And it's funny because I saw the tag and I kept looking at it going, gosh, that looks, that tag looks like something I've seen before. So when I looked it up, then that's where I figured it out. So, I mean, it was just a brand new, brand new top and it weighs next to nothing. So I grabbed it. This is really pretty. Again, new with tags. Uh, neon dye, it's a gap, um, and it's this orange and white cardigan, just a light cotton, and I guess they're kind of like X's and diamonds. Perfect for spring, again coming up. This is just a 2X Under Armour shirt, nothing real special. This was my big find that I showed you earlier. Um, oh, I can't get the tag off. Okay, it's a LuLaRoe. So you can see there. And it's new with tag. It's the Monroe style. I just realized I left a little, this little thing in there. Okay. Um, let's see, how does it go? Like this. Size large. So this is all lace, and then the bottom has this fringe. So pretty. I mean, I literally watched somebody look at it and throw it back in the bin. And I was like, mm, thank you. And then finally, the last thing I got were these, and they're heavy, so I hope it works out. They're Levi's Relaxed Fit, and they're all the same size, which is 38, and they're all really nice condition denim shorts. There's one pair, there's two pair. Um, for men, obviously. And there's three pair. I hope that works out. I looked up comps for lots, and it seemed like they were doing okay. So that's what I'm going to do with those. And then that was it for the bins. This is what I got at the thrift. I left the tags on so that you can see what I paid. Different colors. I can't remember right now. It was blue, green, and silver, I think it was. Blue, green, and gray were half off. So this is um, postcard by Anthropology, and it's a nice little top. It's like the sleeves have all the real artwork in the shirt. And it was half off of $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for it. Um, Eileen Fisher, it's like a linen, the only thing is it doesn't have a size, so I gotta figure out what size it is, but it's like a linen tie front cardigan-y thing, and it was half off of $3.99, so I paid $2. Um, this is this is, yeah, this is Delita, which is Anthropology, and it's just a little floral blouse. And it was half off of $2.99, so I paid $1.50. This is that um, Koi 
the nursing scrubs by the Kathy Peterson, I think it is. I might pick them up now because they seem to do okay. And it's got this really pretty white embroidery. I don't know if you see the white embroidered flowers. And if you're wondering what the tag looks like, it's this. And it was half off of $3.99, so it was $2. Uh, this was a nice find. This was RBX. Brand new a tag. And it's, and it's originally $68 for this. It's just a ribbed shirt from RBX. And it was, um, like I said, brand new. And then it was half off of $5.99, so I paid $3 for it. This is just the moth from Anthropology. Nothing real special to it. It was just a really nice gauzy knit shirt. Um, that's what the tag looks like. And it was just half off of $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for it. Um, again, new a tag. This is Delita again. This one is the only one that I paid full price for. And um, this one, Delita was new with tag and it actually still has the anthropology tag on it. And I paid $3.99 for it. And it's this really pretty beaded top. And with the shoulders being the accents. Uh, this one doesn't have the, yes it does. Look at the original price was $78. And then finally, the most beautiful piece. Look at the brand. Tory Birch. Look at how beautiful this silk tunic is. Oh. oh, I'm gonna come closer so you can just see how it shines. All the colors. And it's a good size, it's a size 14. And oh, this was the only other thing I paid full price for it. It was $7.99. I said, okay, I will do it. $7.99. Yes, please and thank you. So um, I'm going to insert a picture here. This is a dress that we found Julia. It's beautiful. Brand new with tag, $99 tag on it. It was marked $6.99 and it was a half price. It was blue. So I paid $3.50 for that dress. And also, it's already been put away, was the blazer that I got for my son for his bar mitzvah. I never thought I'd find it that easily. It fits him like a glove. He looks great in it. And it was only $1.50. So it was a really good thrifting day. Like I said, you know, I was being picky. I was doing the small but mighty. And uh, did really well. So I need to get listing again. But... I can't keep listing the good stuff and leaving the bread and butter stuff in the bin. So I really have to kind of do a mix of it tomorrow when I list and get, you know, quite a bit of it up because my inventory is getting really low. I'm used to having it between 275 and 325. And right now I'm at 170 items listed right now. And that's it. So I do need to get listing. I need to get moving. Again, you, you get what you put in. You get back what you put in. Anyway, so here's what has been selling, quite a bit actually. Um, some buy it now, some um, offers, and a couple bidding wars, but you know, just steady, slow and steady. Uh, I still have one more day to see what my total is going to be for the month of fe February. And it's a short month too, so I feel kind of cheated out of a couple days. But we'll see what happens tomorrow night um, when those auctions end. So remember, I'm Melissa, you're watching Florida on a Dime. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know you're listening. Enjoy your night. Bye.